Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your host for this evening, Mr. Rob Callahan. Good evening. No expense spared, that was me. Uh, how are we all? Are we well? Yes, good. I'm Rob, I'm bipolar, and uh, I've been asked to do this for that reason. I was sectioned in 2003, and I'll, uh, I'll talk a bit, bit about that later. Can we just have some house lights up and just see? Hands up if you're all so mad. Excellent. Where are the carers? Excellent. So there's only one normal person, and it's you. No. Um, welcome along. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming out and supporting such a great show. And, and I should also say hello to our viewers on the uh, World Wide Web out there. Hello. Hi, everybody. Do your hair. Yeah. Um, hopefully they've got some clothes on. Good. Um, tonight's show, of course, is about destigmatising uh, mental uh, issues and experiences. All of the performers tonight that you see um, have either been through experiences or know someone who has. So about 90%, including the crew and everybody. So um, that, that's uh, something that I wanted to point out. Um, we ask you, obviously, you've seen the ads, know me before you judge me, or take me surfing first, at least. And, uh, you know, but tonight, we do want you to judge us, um, because we want you to judge us on our creativity and our performances. And at the end, we're going to have a little award ceremony for ourselves, so we feel even more special than we already are. <laughs> yes. Um, there may be some contents of the show and language that you might find offensive. Okay, it's not our intention, and so if you do find yourself offended, it's your own fault. All right. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all I, it leaves me to say really is, is the, the more love. This is our last show. We've had a great season, and uh, I know everyone's excited to do this tonight. And there's going to be heaps of energy. The more love you give us, the more we'll give you back, and the more love we give you, the more we want. So that's uh, hopefully how it's going to work. And um, especially you down there with the red uh, ears. Yeah, so nice to see you all being let out for the night. Now, it leaves me um, only one thing to do, and that's to introduce the third act. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands warmly together for Madophobic, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Highly unusual. Oh. Having three candidates tied for the position. Well, there must be something that puts one ahead of the others. Oh, they're all women. Weren't there any men available? Please, Professor John. Many of the men were underqualified. These were the best of the batch. Now, I've arranged for all three ladies to be interviewed together. Well, is that even possible? Didn't they object? Well, they suggested it. Actually, they were quite enthusiastic about it. Look, I think I must mention a possible problem I heard just now as I came in. Oh, can it wait? They're waiting outside? Well, there's something about these three. What, these three here? Yes. One of them is, oh, you know. What? An Indian? No! <laughs> uh, angry? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! They like clocks. You don't mean to say they're crazy? Well, not all, just one of them. I don't think you can call them crazy anymore, but I think you can still call them mad. Uh, you're the second set woman, is that right? Oh, no, 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 you can't call them mad anymore, or crazy. No, I believe the new buzzword is mental illness, or, or mental unwellness, I think. I wonder which one it is, actually. Well, well, this is a dilemma. We can't have a mad person working here. What the hell is it catching, is it? Hmm? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Well, no, no, we should be fine. <laughs> well, we can't ask them outright, so what do we do? I bet it's this one. She looks mad. See, see it's all in the eyes. Mad as a match here, this one. Mm, and this one seems a bit OCD. Well, how can you tell? Yes, I do see her eyes look a little on the mad side. Mm. Yes. And see how this one is sitting, with her hands tightly clasped, as if to stop herself from straightening anything. <laughs> and that's OCD. Mm -hmm. Well, so what about this one? She looks fine to me. Well, uh, nothing too obvious, so it must be neurological. Mm. You see, most things stem from either OCD, depression, or mad eyes. <laughs> no, what do we do? What do you say to people like that? They don't have special needs, do they? Well, I suggest that we each angle our questions towards one of the three disturbances oh. and we watch for reactions. Why don't we just ask who's on the meds? Please, Dr. John, we could be sued. No, William is right. This is the best way. William, you take the COD or whatever. I'll take depression and you, Dr. John, you Mad take eyes. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Oh, well, I read this experiment from uni, right? Anyone with OCD won't be able to resist straightening these papers. Well, it doesn't sound very scientific. <laughs> <laughs> I still have 100%, but you say I'm a classmate with OCD, and this used to drive. 
drive me nuts. <laughs> I read somewhere that depressed people get quite emotional around water, cry or something. And mad people think it's mad, you want to throw it. What? Mad people throw water? A colleague of mine, Brian Chalmers, swears by it. His wife Nancy was mad, you know. Threw water like you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't him that drove her to it? <clears throat> oh, welcome ladies. <laughs> I'm Samantha, office manager. And this is William from Human Resources and Dr. Professor John Head Research. <laughs> Thank you for coming in together. You okay, Bill? Yes? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to ask you a few questions individually. Ah, Dr. John, why don't you start? So, Evie, what a mad kind of a day, eh? <laughs> Being uh, cooped up here in this uh, small room all day makes me feel quite mad. Sorry, what is the question? How mad would you feel working in a small room all day? <clears throat> well, this is not exactly small. Oh. How small a room have you been in? Well, Was it padded? Yes. <laughs> the chair that you sat on in the small room. Yes. That was a ticket booth, and no, it wasn't padded. Okay, okay thank you for that, uh, Professor. <laughs> um, Della, uh, how do you feel? Well, not mad, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all, no. My, uh, my colleague here was just having a bit of a joke, you know. Nice break, yeah. So, um... <laughs> you don't uh, feel like touching? Touching what? But the, the paper, it's, it's a little crooked. Didn't like it crooked, eh? Sorry? Would you like to straighten the others as well? Is that all right? Oh, perfect. Well done. Now, just so you can see now. <laughs> Does, uh... That feel better? What, the paper being straight? Yes! Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> now, May, I noticed from your CV that you haven't worked anywhere for quite some time. No, after my father died, I promised him I would go to Africa to help with the orphanage he had built. <laughs> Why is he doing that? I have no idea. <laughs> Badly? I mean, badly. Oh, yes, of course. I was very close to him. But Africa helped and it gave me a better sense of it. Oh, of course. New place, new lifestyle. That would have made you really excited about life again. You know, people starve over there. They, like, die. Of course you were depressed and that's why you went over there to join them. And that's where you got your limp too to remind you of their pain. Oh, that is beautiful. Excuse me. I can't help thinking that you three are a witch hunt. <laughs> Why are you asking us these weird questions and what is he on about? <laughs> tests, I'm doing tests. On us? Yes. No, no, no. 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 Oh, well, the work no. that we're doing here is, is tests with, with water and other liquids. Mm. Why? Does it make you feel mad? It makes me wonder what kind of people I would be working for. <laughs> What kind of people we are? We are trying to find out which one of which you have actually Which one got. what? Well, which one? Which one is mad? <laughs> mad hands? Uh, uh, mad eyes? And you are just mad! Oh, just regular mad? Well, not sure about the limp. Mad feet. <laughs> uh, what my colleague here is trying to say is that... Uh, one of us is mad. And you're trying to find out which one by using a range of questions that might expose our possible mental unwellness. Uh, Samantha? <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to find out whether or not Look, you could... Look, we can't have someone mad working here. Oh, it sounds like you have too many already. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to find out whether or not you could actually handle the workload. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, mental unwellness ensures you know your boundaries. Better than anyone, even non-mad people. We need to feel part of life and living. Working is essential to feeling part of the bigger picture. Yeah, being shunned and isolated creates division, ignorance and fear. And us all. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ackland Dean, Harbour and Joe's. ADHD for short. <laughs> uh, we will just go and get the contracts for you to sign. 